Hey guys, welcome back to Berenses Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to write expressions from word problems. So in a previous video, we learned in detail about expressions. So today we'll be applying that knowledge from writing expressions in word problems. So once again, an expression has three components, which are variables, numbers, and at least one operation. Variables are just lowercase letters that are used to represent unknown values in mathematics. Operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we have four word problems. These are the two, and then when I scroll down, there's two more. So we'll be writing expressions from these word problems. Now keep in mind, an expression cannot be solved. It can only be simplified. Because in an expression, we have variables, and they are unknown values. So if we don't know the value of the variables, we can't solve the expression. It can only be simplified by combining like terms. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first word problem. It reads, Peter is a salesman. He earns $200 per week plus $8, and this should be on plus $8 on every item that he sells. Write an expression to show how much Peter will earn this week if he sells X items. So the first thing that we need to do is either underline, circle, or highlight our key terms in this word problem. Remember, this can always be helpful when you're writing expressions from word problems or any other word problem. Always, always, always underline, circle, highlight your key terms. So when we read through this, the first key terms that we need to underline are he earns $200 per week. So this is a number right here, and which is one of, a, one of the components of an expression, $200 per week plus, so this is just telling us what operation we need to do, which is we have to add plus, and then it says $8 on every item that he sells. So every item he's earning $8, okay? So write an expre expression to show, we can underline expression too, okay? To show how much Peter will earn this week if he sells X items. So we don't know how many items he's selling. So going in order, first we had he earns $200 per week. So we can go ahead and bring that down. So he earns $200 per week. And when you're writing an expression, you don't necessarily need to bring down the dollar sign. You can just bring down the number itself. So 200 and it says plus $8 on every item that he sells. So plus tells us that we're adding. So we'll bring down the addition sign. So we're halfway done with our expression. So $200 plus, and it says $8 on every item that he sells. And he's selling X items. So we don't know how many items he's selling. So in this case, since we don't know how many items he's selling, we'll have to write 8X. And the reason for that is because let's say that he sells two items that week. So we'll multiply two by $8 because he's earning $8 per item, which will give us 16, and we add that to 200. So that means Peter will earn $216 that week. But once again, we don't know how many items he's selling. That's why we'll write 200 plus 8x. So that's it, we have our expression. So now let's move down to our second word problem. So it says, Becca got $50 on her birthday, and she decides to buy books using that money. If each book costs X dollars, write an expression to show how many books Becca can buy. So once again, we need to underline our key terms. So we know that Becca, she got $50 on her birthday, and she wants to buy books using this money, and each book costs X dollars. And we have to write an expression to show how many books Becca can buy. So once again, going through our key terms, we already know that she got $50 on her birthday. And she is buying books, and each of the books is costing X dollars. So we don't know how many dollars each book costs. So we have to write an expression to show how many books she can buy. So we have $50, and each of the books costs X dollars. So in order to write this expression, we have to divide. We have to divide $50 by X to see how many books you can buy. So our expression will be 50 over X. Now when it comes to division, you don't necessarily write 50 divided by X because in algebra, most likely 
you'll see it written like this as a fraction, 50 divided by x. So that's that for this word problem. Okay, the second last one. Charlotte has 85 stickers. Her brother has x times more stickers than her. Write an expression to show how many stickers her brother has. So we know that Charlotte has 85 stickers. Her brother has x times more stickers than her. We have to write an expression to show how many stickers her brother has. So once again, we already know that she has 85 stickers. And her brother has x times more stickers. So we don't know how many times more she, he has, but we know that's x. So all we have to do is write 85x. So because this shows that, let's say that he has two times more stickers than her, we'd have to multiply 85 by 2 to find out how many stickers her brother has. So that's all we have to write for this, 85x. Okay, so our last word problem. Caden has 60 magazines. If he sells X magazines per day for five days, how many magazines will he have left? Write an expression. So he has 60 magazines. He's selling X magazines per day for five days. And so how many magazines will he have left? Write an expression. So we already know that he has 60 magazines. So we can go ahead and write that, 60. And he's selling X magazines per day for five days. So let's say if he sells two magazines per day for five days, he'll have sold 10 magazines. But once again, X is a variable, so it can be anything. It's unknown. So we'll have to write 5X because depending on how many magazines he's selling per day, we'll have to multiply that by five because he's selling them for five days to find out how many magazines he sells. Now the key term over here says left. How many magazines does he have left? So if he originally has 60 magazines, we're gonna have to subtract 5x in order to find out how many he has left. And that's our expression, 60 minus 5x. So let's say that Caden is selling two magazines per day for five days. We'd have to replace the x, substitute it for two. So five times two is 10, subtracted from 60 will give us 50. That means Caden still has 50 magazines left. But again, x is a variable, so the value is unknown. And so that's it for this video. And once again, writing expressions from word problems is pretty, like, really easy as long as you underline your key terms and you know the components of expressions. And so thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.